So, like, thank you, number one, for having me. Thank, thank you, you for letting us. Like a, it must have been like a slow night, right? No, uh -huh. <laughs> no we're, at, we're very excited to get to talk to you about Walker and Carlos and life. <laughs> oh, I can talk about that, man. Oh, man. Oh, look, I'm drinking water. So if I was drinking like beer or something, it'd be on. <laughs> We'd be talking about all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're here from Walker Wiki online. It's a okay. comprehensive website for Walker fans who are all very excited to see you in this week's episode of Walker. Mm -hmm. uh, so I guess we'll just dive into a couple of things that people want to know. But no, thank you all seriously for having me. You guys are out of Austin? Where are you guys out of? We're, no, we're Canadian. We're, Get out of here. Yeah. Really? We're, we're in Ontario. Ah, I bet it's beautiful up there. It's cold. Well, today it wasn't cold, but yeah, it's, it's usually cold. Yeah, it's beautiful, yeah. All right. Yeah. How are things in Austin now? Are they okay? Much better. Much better. better. I it's mean, it was, I'm not going to lie, it was no fun. I grew up in Illinois, so I had 21 years of severe cold and months and months. Well, you know that because you're up there. Yeah. And then to get something like that here, it was just, a. It, 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 no one was prepared. This wasn't like one or two days. This was like over a week of, of frigid, you know, below, uh, freezing temperatures it was no good for none of us the roads yeah. pipes we were out uh with you know we had no electricity no water i mean people up north they laugh at us and and i get it but we just we're just not built for this yeah. no it, it's understandable yeah, yeah we we recognize it's very different over there to see that kind of climate to here yeah. where we're it, used it, to it, it was, yeah i mean it was it was really yeah it was rough man a lot of people uh were hurting big time and still mm -hmm. are you know they're trying to get their houses together thank god i didn't have anything like that here so well i I, yeah. I guess one thing that was really great about the walker fandom is that a lot of fans were fundraising and a lot of fans were pooling That's resources yeah. and we we ran our own incentive on the walker wiki and uh, just just on our page ignoring the countless efforts elsewhere we raised five thousand three hundred wow so it was it was great to see it's when fandoms unite and do something for the yeah. the, the the good of the people. Yeah, I guess. isn't that a beautiful thing? It's amazing. I mean, that is because when you do something like that, it affects so many people. You have no idea. Uh, you know, somebody could be on their wits end, and all of a sudden they get this little bit of funds or or food or something, and you kept them from doing something that they might regret. You know, and we just don't know everybody's story, so. That's a beautiful thing. So thank you all for doing that. Yeah, our, our pleasure. Yeah. So I guess uh, we'll we'll dig into some sure, more. Sure, because I'll be talking. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, just to begin, we are very interested in hearing what actually drew you to the role of Carlos Mendoza. Ooh, you know, when I got the script, I, I knew right away that uh, this was going to be a, a, a pivotal role because of how I how, how it affects Walker, you know, and he was going to be thinking about me for some time to come. So I knew this was going to be an interesting role to play. So that's what really drew me. I mean, I don't mind wearing a hat and trying to get out there and be a, a, a Texas Ranger, but that wasn't the case. So I said, this is going to be a lot more fun, a lot more exciting. And we don't know where it's going to go. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, well, so for, for fans who may not be familiar with your previous work, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your character on Walker? You kind of dove into that a little bit, but. Yep, I was born in, no. <laughs> I'll start when I was a little baby. You don't know, I first caught the, and it's gonna sound like everybody else, I caught the acting bug in, way back in the day when I uh, did, uh, played Colonel Juan Morales in the Alamo with Billy Bob Thornton. Oh. Yeah, that was when I first kind of got my, you know what, I like this. It's fun, you know, I enjoy the heck out of it and made a lot of uh, a good friends to this day, even Billy Bob, I mean, he's a gem, I love that guy. So that, that drew my interest. And then I started doing, of course, a whole lot of commercials and, and, and print work before I even got into the acting part. Um, I started off, I did a uh, prison break, uh, that was fun. I did uh, Queen of the South, a couple of episodes on that, that was fun. Um, yeah, Dust to Dawn, the Robert Rodriguez series, 
so all that is, it, it, you know, the fun thing for me is getting on set and, and set meeting new people, mm -hmm. you know, and watching them to, to see them, you know, on the set, that's cool. And I never get really starstruck because I understand it's a business. You know, you're there. It's a business. This isn't just, you know, go out there, look at me. I'm a, I'm a star. No, it's a business. So I'd like to watch and learn uh, from everybody on the set. So that's, that's, that's pretty much where I, I got my start and it progressed all the way to now Walker, which is amazing. That, yeah, we're very excited. And what about uh, Carlos? What can, can you give us some juice on Carlos? Carlos, <laughs> Carlos. Oh, man. Well, uh, man, I can, I, I can tell you, like I say, I, I, you, you're going to see more of Carlos because I am on the mind of, of Cordell Walker. Uh, and you know from the previous episodes, and I guess it's okay to say, uh, I confess mm -hmm. to uh, yes. Emily's murder. So I'm, you know, there's a lot of unanswered questions that Cordell has. And it's affecting his home. It's affecting his work. So that's what also makes us an interesting character. Yeah, for but sure. Just gonna, I can't say too, too much because. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. But no. <laughs> no worries. Um, <laughs> you, you mentioned the set and like loving to meet new people and stuff. What can you tell us about the atmosphere on the set of Walker? Oh, I tell you, that's like I said, that's the best part for me. Getting the role, that's totally different. But when you get to meet the people and you get to talk to them. And you see how open they are. And, and, and on this set, I'm talking about Walker. It, it's great because I can ask them anything. Uh, and, and they know that, it's, that, that we're all there to, you know, to bring our best because uh, we all bring something to the table. So I love working with all of them, you know, and, and it's, it, I'm going to tell you, it, it's, a, it's a blessing. It's an honor. I'm humbled by it. So yeah, I, I have fun. I mean, you can't help but have fun. I mean, to get out there and do this, there's so many actors out there uh, that would love to be in this position. I don't always book everything I get, so I am so grateful. So, uh, yeah, I, I can't wait to get on the set. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Um, well, specifically um, for Jared Padalecki, Lindsay Morgan, and Keegan Allen, those three, they came from shows that had uh, very large fan bases. Specifically for those three, I'm not sure if you got to work with them because obviously the episode hasn't aired yet. But right. <laughs> uh, what what was it like to work with them if you had a chance? Fans want to know. Yeah, fans want to know. Oh, they're all up in my business. <laughs> no, that's good. I'm only joking. I'm only joking because without fans, man, this is yeah, this is this is no bueno. Uh, you know, those are all seasoned actors mm -hmm. and very talented actors. Uh, and and and. For me, like I say, it, it's it's an honor, and I'd like to watch them because I know that they're seasoned, and I know this isn't their first rodeo. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, it, it it's 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 thrilling, it's exciting, and uh, I just get on there and I just want to watch. I watch them do their scenes because I want to learn. You know, everybody, like I says, brings something to the table, and so yeah, I mean, I'm I'm thrilled to be a part of it. They're all so so talented. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that makes me happy, personally. <laughs> um, so outside of Walker, where can people see you next? Just feel free to promote any projects you might have coming up. I'm working uh, after this on a, on a film with a, a friend of mine, Mike Gassaway, who's an uh, Emmy Award winning actor. And uh, it's called The Pro Bono Watchman. Mm -hmm. So we start shooting that, I think, in a couple of weeks. Uh, and then I have a few things on uh, Amazon right now. Um, so that you can see me, you can see me on a show called Monday, which is part of the Robert Rodriguez, uh, project. And, uh, what else? I've got some more here. Let me put my glasses on. These aren't for show anymore. <laughs> These are actually just for, yeah, I've done actually, you know what? Bola who directed one of the episodes, she yeah. directed me. On, uh, on on the on the run that was part of the Robert Rodriguez, Robert Rodriguez uh, project. So I, I I was hoping to see Bola because I mean I love her, yeah. And it was fun being directed by her. So I missed her and hopefully I'll get a chance on a few episodes to be directed by her. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Amazon is a few things you can see me on now. Uh, you know the best thing I like I, I tell everybody just go on IMDb. And just type my name, and then that way you can see what I've been up to and what I've done. Mm -hmm. uh, thank God for that. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, is there anything that you want to say to the Walker fans that are watching this video? Ooh, I, I, you know, I can't say, I can't stress this enough because really without fans, that's no different than music. You can write music and all that stuff, but if there's nobody who's really a fan of it or really enjoying it, you, you just, you're singing to yourself, you mm -hmm. know? So without them, I mean, no one's there filling the seats in the same way with the shows. Fans are really, really important. I know they're important to everybody, but they're really, really important to me. I don't take any of them for granted because, uh, you know, you, you want to get out there and just give them your best. So the fans, I'm telling you now, you guys really, really matter. Uh, not only to myself, but I'm sure everybody on the set, because without you guys, man, this is, you know, we're just going to be in a room uh, uh, doing it for ourselves. And that's, that's not, that's not good. So mm -hmm. the fans mean everything. And I thank you guys. And I hope they continue to watch. Oh, uh, they it, will. <laughs> the show is so excellent. It's so good. It just gets like better and better. It. You know, it, it's funny because uh, the episode, I, I, I mistakenly thought it was going to come out uh, after episode five and they showed my preview and I was like, oh, I got on Facebook and got on there and said, hey, everybody watch. So I got a lot of hits. Make a long story short, I was there with the wife and we're watching it and I was like, no, nope, that's not my episode. <laughs> so I had to do an apology video real quick. I said, okay, guys, uh, apparently I was mistaken. And then I looked and it says, yeah, uh, new episodes airing uh, March 11th. So yeah. I, I, I will say, because we did talk about that on the page that we run, um, <laughs> everyone seemed to enjoy it quite a bit. They're, they're more excited to see you now on the show because of that yeah. video. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that was a good thing about it, too. A lot of them said, well, I hadn't watched the show, Joe. I wanted to watch it because of you. But now that I've watched it, they're hooked on it. And, and now they, they can't wait to see that episode. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's a win-win. I'm so fortunate, man. I, I, you know, I wake up every day and that gives me opportunity to right or wrong. That gives me opportunity to tell a lot of them that don't know maybe just how I feel about them. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, opportunity is everything. And when I wake up every day, I get to go do this. Do Walker, man, I'm, I'm so fortunate. Well, that's, I think, the questions that we have. But thank you so much. This this wow. was a, an incredible time <laughs> to, to talk no, about thank Walker. Thank you all. Thank you all so much. I am honored. I'm flattered. Are you kidding? That's awesome, man. And, and, and if there's any time you want to get a hold of me, just get a hold of me. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Thank all right, you well, all, and, and, and stay safe out there in Canada. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Right, thank you, guys. Stay healthy and well. I will. I promise. Yeah, boss lady's going to make sure that happens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> y'all take care. We'll, we'll talk soon. You got it.